Well, good morning everyone and welcome to what can only be described as the perfect first Florida morning. It is steamy out here, it's currently 10 past 7 and we're just waiting for mum and dad and then we are off to, of course, a lot of you who know the channel and watch us before will know exactly where we're going this morning. <laughs> it is of course a celebration, we're going to go by the lake there and have a nice Starbucks, we're bringing mum and dad along as well. Just going to relax, you know, wake ourselves up chill by the take lake it take it in today and uh, then from there we're gonna head to walmart oh, again a lot part. of people's favorites you can't beat a good shop around walmart and don't worry i'll be covering every aisle the crisps the chocolates the sweets you name it and then we'll come back here probably unload it all i am going to be filming this lovely villa for you guys as well to show you everything and we're absolutely made up with it mum and dad are quite uh, astonished i think beds are amazing yeah that bed was lovely last night to sleep in yeah it was very comfortable sleep and then uh, we will be potentially off to maybe a disney park later oh look someone's emerged look morning guys from the deck it it's like unreal i am up and about ready to go for coffee at seven look at him he's That's even in like a look of smart she said you know what I mean? he's in there he's yeah, what they called? Today. i'm not looking garbage though am i no. You know, it's still got stuff on it's the front. Still got stuff on. I'll be Garvey later. <laughs> these are super comfy. These these are oh, uh, Patagonia. I uh, discovered these a month or so ago. Yeah, dead I, cool. I've Not got sponsored. Shirt. You just like the t-shirt. It's yeah. dead thin for for here. Perfect. So we're waiting on mum, of course. Is not, not always the mum that we're waiting for, you know? Always, always, Ladies always. are going to be going mad in the comments. Now. You know, you ladies, <laughs> I mean, what do you find to do? They just like oh, we can do anything. always something to do, isn't it? Like titivate their hair or something. Oh, I haven't got this or oh, I need that. Or just like I give up. And then if I moan, I get it right down the ear. So, <laughs> so wow. we are going to be uh, heading off to celebration. Come along with us. Do they do mellow beds? No. Oh no. There's no Mellow Birds coffee at Celebration. It's proper quality Starbucks at Celebration. I could kill a Mellow Birds. <laughs> Here we are, we are finally back at Celebration. Sound of the birds, sun's coming up. We're that early, the bin trucks are going past. It's a lovely time to be here, but there's already people down on our bench, Laura. I'm not impressed. They best have the reserve signs on them. And I think they knew we were coming, so they're getting off now. Well, they did say they were putting the brass plaques on, like Andrew and Laura, and they were going to polish them each month. Mick Garvey on. Oh, right, okay. You ordered one, did you? Mellow birds, Mick Garvey. What a lovely view that is though, sun coming up, we've got our big Ford Expedition there, loads of free parking around. So we're going to grab our Starbucks and then we're going to go and sit by the lake, listen to them birds, love it. Bit of a novelty for us Laura, we don't get many birds in Tenerife. Dad and I oh, know. Dad and Mum and Dad have never been up this early. Where look at me, look, we? marching in for his coffee, look, I'll have a double espresso please. <laughs> Waiting for the coffees and mum and dad are all over these lovely dogs here giving them treats <laughs> celebration dogs dad loves dogs and we've got oh, a couple of little danish uh, mum loves the cheese danishes they do here in america these things here and i've gone from a chocolate croissant and our caramel lattes
Well, what a beautiful way to start day one. Down here, my favorite caramel latte coffee. Reflection off the lake, sun rising. It's a lovely temperature. It's currently about 77, so it's a lovely temperature as well. Just to sit out, we'll get those rocking chairs and take it all in. This is uh, definitely mine and Laura's happy place right here. In your happy place, Laura, you're looking a daydream there. I am. Loving I'm it. Quite woken up yet, yeah. Happy to be back. Warm, perfect temperature, just literally warm, just yeah. said that, yeah. Yeah, it's not too warm, yeah. Mum, happy to be back with your cheese Danish there. I think so, they're only in America, them, yeah. They don't do them in Europe. Sweet cream cheese in the middle. Nice, enjoy. And you've got your latte, plain latte. Yeah. Why don't you ever have a syrup like a caramel flavour in it? No, it's sweet. too sweet, yeah. yeah. Mm. Sweet and I try to steer away from sugar. Yeah. Try. <laughs> no, look at that view we've got here. Just I relaxing. Try, but one of my favourite jobs there is Kilwins. Oh, yeah, you've got Kilwins up there, yeah. If you've watched the channel before, you've seen us in there getting mummy and non parels. Yeah. They are nice, they're like chocolate non parels in there. <laughs> So this here is our first day tradition. This is what we do every first day, come down, especially first morning, you're awake early, come up here, nice and cool, watch the sunrise. Uh, so this is our first day tradition, but what is yours? I'd like to know in the comments, what is your first day tradition uh, when you come to Florida? <clears throat> or even if you've not been before, it's gonna be your first time or you might be booking, what would you like to do with your first morning? Most of us Brits, uh, or up early because of the time difference. If you're from the UK, uh, we are obviously five hours uh, behind over here in Florida. So that first few mornings, you've got a little bit of uh, jet lag, but it's good jet lag because you get up nice and fresh, but it's still lovely and early over here. But yeah, this is definitely our favorite. Just finished my coffee, which was gorgeous. And a little chit chat, soaking it in. And then we'll be off back to the Walmart near Windsor Hills on the 192 there. Uh, that big Walmart's brilliant, so we're going to go through all of that. And then we'll, of course, show you all of the aisles. Everyone loves a good uh, Walmart video, so that'll be uh, on the way, don't worry. Just love watching the wildlife come down this uh, heron here come down for a little bit of breakfast and they come along this ledge here and there's all little snails and things all in the algae along these edges but I do love the wildlife I mean Laura's got a little friend here on her left little squirrel come to say hello as well it's just mentioning the wildlife there he is <laughs> they do have rabies out here but he's still cute Got back from uh, our big shop. Laura's just stocking up the fridge there. Yeah. We did spend a lot of money. $255 was ours and $350 was mum's and dad's. But we've stocked up for three weeks. We should be all pretty set there. If you do want to see exactly what we got and what Walmart is like, then I have done a whole separate vlog, which I will link in the description. You can watch us do our whole shop there. But for now, we're all stocked up. Uh, we're gonna have a little bit of a break now, a little bite to eat, and then we'll probably head out again. Yeah. So we've just uh, filmed a nice tour of this villa, and I was gonna chill, watch a little bit of Friends, hopefully, and I've got my crispy bacon and cheese bagel for lunch, which I'm really excited for. Hey, so after a little break, Laura did have a little wee nap, didn't you? Yeah, I was knackered. Had a little nap. I continued to film our lovely villa. We did the flew the drone and things like that. I got a few uh, YouTube bits done. 
and uh, what we did was uh, in the shop early we bought some plasters now we bought oh, some yeah. plasters because my feet well particularly my right foot you know it's been rubbing a bit it's been a bit sore and i thought maybe you know we did go to that wedding a few days ago and i wore very tight thin skinny shoes that killed my feet and then i just thought you know as i'm putting them on i'm stretching them out i'm thinking i better loosen up that right shoe even more with the laces flick the tongue up and uh, it turns out that uh, jd was it jd i bought them yeah. from i got them for you from jd yeah jd bought them a couple of days before the holiday nice new shoes for the trip yeah. i wanted a ten and a half yeah they gave me a left ten and a half but my right is a nine and a half so yeah my right shoe is a size too small so my right foot is killing me well done jd so thank you very much jd for the 120 quid shoes that don't fit you'll be having them back and that means tomorrow I'll have to go to the outlets and uh, uh, you purchase you, some you, shoes. Yeah. You've come up with a great excuse to get to the outlets. Oh, and yeah, I, just I, a I, planned I, you it. Know, you thought, I want to go to the outlets. And I've said, it's too expensive to go to the outlets. It's one yeah. eleven to the pound. But you found a way to go. Yeah, no, that's so what I did. I just, few dollars, I just said to JD, things. give me a, a nine and a half in the right, a ten and a half in the left. All you need is lots of plasters yeah. on the blisters. Oh. <laughs> Exactly. Well, this is the thing. I've got my receipt. I've got the box. Oh no, you've been the box. <laughs> yeah, we... But I've got the receipt. But it's true. You, they could. You. You could always argue. They could say, "Oh well, you. That's not what we've done. That's not our fault." Yeah. Yeah. They're having them back. I'm telling you now. You crushed me right foot for a day and a half, JD. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So everyone, welcome to Boardwalk Resort. We are uh, parking here, we're gonna pop into the Wyland store, uh, then we're gonna quickly jump on a gondola across to Hollywood Studios and sort out our tickets. Uh, we've got them on the phone, but I do wanna, uh, we've gotta to go to the guest services and get our physical tickets. Uh, we've got a park reservation for Hollywood Studios if we need it, but it's mainly just to get into guest relations and get our tickets sorted. Uh, this is the one little idea, I mentioned it before, about filling the cooler box. So we've just pulled up here, it's boiling hot. So I'm gonna grab this drink and take it with me as we head to the gondola and just drink it on the way. Always good to have a little cheap polystyrene box. Just have your cold drinks in it. Keeps you going. It's gonna be mum and dad's first time riding the gondolas. Yeah, really exciting. Yeah? <laughs> He's a bit nervous. He doesn't do cable cars and no. the likes of. I'm sure you'll enjoy it when you're in there. You'll enjoy it. So we're gonna head through Boardwalk. We'll show you the sights along the way. See if anything's changed. And then we'll be heading on to the gondola as well. Little gondola ride. Gorgeous day today. What would you say? 100 odd degrees, yeah. isn't it? It's very yeah, hot. It says 93 or 4. Yeah, it is definitely Toy Story clouds, blue sky. Very nice. So with our lovely villa, they did generously give us four adult sized ponchos. Mum brought them in the car. However, Dad just said, oh, we don't need them. Leave them in the car. Toy Story it's clouds. Not, it's not going to rain. They're the famous last words <laughs> in Florida. They are. It's not going to rain. So we've not got the poncho. So if it does, Dad, it's, uh, it's on you to go and get the car. And you to buy us some ponchos. <laughs> famous last words. Dad's off. He's off with Daisy. Away you go. <laughs> oh, yeah, you got a nice background. There you go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, Laura. Thank you very much. Oh, Daisy showed you the best view there, Laura. Amazing views. Thank you very much. There you go, Laura. Oh, Dad's off with their chip now. Oh, God. Chip or Dale? Oh, my God.
Thank you very much. <laughs> hey, you just dove in there. Didn't you? <laughs> you know, yeah. I'm like a kid again. <laughs> Fantastic to have some meet and greets there right on day one. And uh, no queues or anything. It's just great to have them out and about, meeting, hugging, high fiving. It's, uh, it's been a while since we've had a proper meet and greet here. And they were just uh, out and about on the boardwalk, just having fun. It was nice, that. Nice interaction. It's nice to have that back again. So heading towards Ekkos, which is where the gondola station is. I do like it down here. It's one of my favourite resorts, this. If I was going to stay in one of the resorts, this would probably be one of my top picks, I think. Down here, one of the boardwalk resorts. And uh, this has recently gone since we were here last time. This has gone. It's going to become something else. Looking forward to seeing what that becomes. But I just love it down here. I love the views. You remember in our last series, we rented the boats out here. They were fantastic. Took the boat out for a little hour. Here we are, first sight of the Skyliner. Mum and Dad never done it. And this is obviously free to ride, so we're going to jump on this across to Hollywood Studios. You looking forward to it, Dad? You do get a little bit nervous with things like this, don't you? He'll do any roller coaster, but things like this seem to make him a bit nervous. Excited, Mum? Yeah, I think you'll enjoy this. I think you'll enjoy it. It is a good, fun little ride, this. Here we oh, are. We've got a nice clear one as well, Laura. Oh, that's nice. Oh, that's fine. Are we excited, guys? Yeah. Excited, Paul? Clear one for the views. Yeah. <laughs> Look a bit nervous there. There, Paul. Oh, let's start off slow. Nice and high now. Welcome. We're flying to Disney's Riviera Resort with a full stop at Disney's Caribbean Beach Resort. We've just switched to the Hollywood Studios line. Dad's off backwards. That's weird, that. Once you get up, though, how peaceful and calm is it? And there's a breeze blows The breeze just blows through. There's no air conditioning on these. It is literally just all about breeze. And we're heading straight for the uh, Tower of Terror behind you. Can't see. <laughs> that is very peaceful up here, isn't it? It's very relaxing. Yeah, yeah. It, is, it is actually. It's quiet, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's the opposite to uh, last night in the Horror Nights where the booming. Oh, music Horror Nights is uh, loud. loud, yeah. It, it is adds loud. to the atmosphere, but it's yeah. loud. Very. We are, we are back in the Disney magic. We didn't do Disney last trip. It's good to be back. Good to be back in Disney. So we're going to pop to guest relations, get these tickets sorted. Then we'll catch you when we're inside the park. We're hopefully maybe going to do one or two rides. We're just taking it easy, breaking ourselves in. It is Labour Day, so we're not expecting too much of ourselves this, uh, this first day. Because everywhere is a little bit busy with that bank holiday. But yeah, it feels so good to be back at Disney. Well, tickets picked up. They're the nice 50 cards as well, Laura. We are good to rock and roll. We're all marked in, all good. I did have them all on my phone and linked to the Disney experience, but we didn't have the physical cards. We've just picked them up now. Uh, in terms of cards, we did get these from Orlando Attraction Tickets. Uh, it's who we went with. And then they send you it all online. Uh, the codes, etc. And then you link them to your My Disney Experience that way. 
but that's who we got these from uh, Orlando attraction tickets I can link them in the description not sponsored we've just used them for years and find them nice and reliable and good prices as well back in Disney Laura how long ago does it feel since we came in here on travel day in November 2021 yeah yeah it was cold and we were in here and now we're back feels great to be back be good to be back in a Disney park Excuse yeah me. who's that on my pass that's Dora, Dory. Dory, right. Yeah. I got Dory. You've got Finding Nemo and Dory. I got the main man, you know exactly. what I mean? You've got... you got Mickey. Yeah, I got I'm Mickey. I'm, I'm the main man, you know? I'm not happy. <laughs> Dory. Laura got Bo Peep. Bo Peep. Who's mum there? You are, to be fair, you are Dory. You forget every t every two minutes. That is definitely <laughs> you. That is you. You forget it every two minutes. That's you. <laughs> Where are we again? Where are we again? <laughs> So we're straight away, we've got to get a pair of ears for Laura. Laura's checking them out. Are you thinking them? Are they the ones you're thinking? Could be the ones. We're going to keep checking out though first, aren't we, before we dive in. But yep, yeah, that's on the list of things to get. These are nice as well, Laura. I do like these ones. I do like them. I know you're not mega, are you? I do like them. I do like them ones. Got a few others here. They're fun. But yeah, we're going to check out the range first before we pick because there could be some in another shop that are better. Some nice Starbucks merch here. Some of the Star Wars Been There series. I do like that black and gold mug is nice. Looks like the first ride back in Disney is going to be that beauty right there. Tower of Terror, absolute classic. It's a 30 minute wait, which is not bad at all. So that could be our first ride of the day. We're sort of going through the shops, staying cool as we go, keeping an eye out for some things. But that beauty right there is coming up. It's just spotted this awesome lounge fly Mickey bar backpack. That's really clever. I like that. Quite like that as well with the different rides on it too. It's just a 50th little rucksack. So we're just ambling towards TOT. I'm excited for that. So excited, so good to be back at Disney. Oh, Mickey Bar collection now, the spirit jersey, the Crocs, and the rucksack as well, the round fly. Could just do with one of them now, couldn't you, you're hot? I'm um, just thinking that Mickey Bar might just come along in time. That's nice, that law, you might have to get that one. I like that. This is kids, but a lot of the kids stuff fits Laura. How much is that one, Laura? This one Laura's wearing is, is from our merch store, but um, that one's nice, that. $20 might be worth it. Grab it on the way back. Dad, I found your perfect shirt here. This is my happy face. That is definitely <laughs> you, that. That is me, isn't it? It is. No, this is my happy not. face. <laughs> well now you're retired, you're happy now. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. That's how I was at the end of the day in the surgery. Very fitting that it is going to be the Tower of Terror for our first ride back. Love the smell on it, everything about this ride. That music as you walk in the line, you got it. You got it, that music. This will uh, this will wake you up, Dad. This will wake us all up, this. Get the adrenaline pumping moment. We're just checking into a hotel. Nothing unusual about that. Bit of a stormy night, like your night. You like the thunder, don't you, Dad? <laughs> Love the music. Please remember to hold on to all of your personal belongings. 
to our valued guests. For your safety once on board, please remain seated with your seatbelt fastened. Y por favor, vigile a sus niños. Gracias. Oh, Ron, Laura, you ready for this? I'm so excited for this. One, one, of my, one of my favorite rides in the whole of Disney World, this one. Yeah. You know you're about to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension. Yeah, the gift shop. <laughs> to discover what lies beyond the fifth dimension, beyond the deepest, darkest corner of the imagination, in the Tower of Terror. go so we found new horror night uh, new tower of terror merch here love the ears love the lounge fly bag as well it's pretty cool yeah the doors close see what would you rather have though that one laura or your jurassic park one that you like i love them ears i think them ears are awesome they've got the tardis mugs as well i like them what are you getting paul i am what get my favourite ice cream of all time. What's a that? A Mickey bar. A Mickey bar. How long's it been, Paul? Three years. Three, Three years. years. Well, you do like your Mickey bars, don't you? Uh, do you know how much one is? This is like... Oh. It's, it's not a, too bad. It's a glorified ice cream. Chock ice. It is. On a stick. In the shape of Mickey Mouse. With dark chocolate. But it's just a chock ice, really. For six dollars twenty-five. Ah, what's the feels though, isn't it? Those feels. So is it Paul? Oh, in a special fiftieth anniversary wrapper. Take it out carefully now, guys. Oh, show us that. And then, this is a this is a big big tip, big secret. Best taste is the right here. The right here, not the left. Good. Better than ever. Oh, there you go. Six dollars Well, cracking ride on Tower of Terror. What a way to kick off uh, the uh, first few weeks here. Love that ride. Uh, we're just going to head to Toy Story Mania because it's only a 15-minute wait. It is really not that busy. No. Not as busy as we thought it was going to be for Labor Day, did we? I thought it was going to be rammed, but lovely presents. I think maybe maybe the, it's more Labour Day sales. Maybe people are shopping instead more than. Well, maybe they don't have yesterday. They just been back to bad pool today. Yeah. Well, I'm not complaining at all. Sun shining, blue skies, nice and warm. Tower of Terror done, and then Toy Story Mania next. We do normally have a bet. Are we having a bet on Toy Story Mania like we normally do? Yes. Winner gets what twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, $5 in the pot each. Okay, $5 in the pot each, winner gets $20. There we go. Little bet on Toy Story Mania. Might as well just give you the $5. You never know, you could hit a big thing where you get million, loads of points. I'll take your $5 now if you want. It won't be you that will win, I think it'll be Laura. Oh, hey, we'll see. Dad might pull it out the bag. Some fun. It's lovely and cool in here. Toy Story Mania, bet is on. But oh, it's lovely and cool in here. It is relentless out there, I must say. It's really heated up. Oh, it's good. It really does bring back memories of our November trip when we came in and we did Tower of Terror, Rock and Roller Coaster, and this on our travel day. Oh, I'm enjoying how cool it is in here, though. If you know, you know. Escaping that heat in these air-conditioned lines are oh, heaven. 
So this is a top tip for you. If you want to throw in a bit of extra fun with the family, have a game on this between yourselves and you can, you know, you can have a little bet of, you know, a Mickey bar or whatever you want. Whoever wins gets a Mickey bar or something. It makes a bit more fun. Four, please. Thank you very much. Just adds to the fun. Have a little bet or a little, you know. It just adds a little bit of interest between the family, I think. You just have to remember your scores and no cheating. Ladies are going together, no cheating now. Please, there's a fiver on the line here. Hope you've got your fiver. You got your fiver? You got your fiver? It's you the cheats, that's why. No. Oh, no, no. It's all going to be on camera or screen. So, any cheating will be on the camera. I would cheat, but I am rubbish at this. I hit the target less than you Right, now here's a key tip for everyone, including you, including the viewers. Don't waste your energy on the practice game. Okay? Don't waste your arm energy. You can save it. Maybe have a couple of little fires. You know, get your, get your range. Don't waste your energy on the practice game. Then make sure you try and looking for things in the corners are worth more points. The smaller the object is, normally the more it's worth. Okay, the more obscure and harder the shot, you know, top corners and things are going to be worth more. Oh, you're an expert. Well, I, say, I can't even say I'm an annual pass holder here because I'm not. <laughs> I did try, but I'm not allowed. Hey, welcome to our practice game. Jack, hold the What goes by? This is where you don't waste your energy. Don't, don't waste your energy on this. Get your range. Okay, here we go. Time to get serious. I'm going to catch you in a minute. Oh, hey, 16900. Oh, lovely. I only had 100,000 more than you. Thank you. Thanks for your $5. I hit the target more than Calvin Lewin. Yeah, not. <laughs> You're more like Cenk Tosin. <laughs> Laura won with 170 odd. I got 160,100. Mum? 117,000. Dad was a miserable 60 odd. I... Grab a little drink now and have a rest before getting on Slinky Dog. The whole theme of this area is brilliant. It's like you're a shrunken down toy, so all of this oversized is uh, basically so you feel like the size of a toy as you walk through. It's very clever. So I'm going to go somewhere for a little drink and a bit of shade, as Dad's saying. It is Scorchio. And then we're going to go on to Slinky Dog Dash. Haven't been on this one for a couple of years. It's a good little ride, that one. Scorchio. And I brought, Scorchio. I bought loads of things or, or told you to order loads of things to stay cool, and we did. But we've blooming forgotten it all, apart from this cooling spray. This is one thing that was uh, recommended. Um, I can't remember which vlog I saw using it. I might have been Lodge Guys. Um, it's like thermal spring water. You just spray your face with it and then you have a mobile fan to cool yourself off. But we've forgotten the fans. The other thing we forgot was our little hydrate dissolvable tablets, which we should be putting in our water. We also forgot our water bottles to refill up at the, the water uh, stations. And we also forgot Dad's bought one of the Lodge Guys neck fans. But you've forgotten that as well. So we've got to be on it tomorrow. I've got an excuse. <laughs> I was filming villas and drone shotting and everything while these two were having a nana nap. Well, a nana nap was important. Right. We've got a nap and hydrate. Yeah. Meanwhile, so we forgot the drinks and refills. Yeah. Andrew kindly got us four drinks. Yeah, I'm not even going to tell you how much they were. For a measly fee of 17 dollars. 17 bucks. I'm going to swallow that along with my pride. <laughs> and uh, where did you get those hydrate tablets from? I think they're a good idea. I bought them online, but you can get dioral hydrate in boots, but they were sold out. Oh, no. But I just bought rehydration tablets online. They were yeah, they're only cheap, weren't they? Yeah. Uh, they weren't cheap, cheap. But dissolving the water, you'll feel so much better. Yeah. Proper little hydration tablets, got all the little minerals in that you need and things like that. The pharmacist told me last week when I went in for some stuff to bring with us, that Diora Light, the real stuff, is on back order. There's a massive short supply of it. Okay, so Diora, yeah. so try and have a look Light. online then. And uh, we'll, we'll show you in tomorrow's vlog, the ones that we bought online. You got them on Amazon, did you? Got them on Amazon. Yeah, but I do think it's a good recommendation that, to stay cool, because it is just, Relentless. 
I had a couple last night, you know, mid evening, out in Horror Nights in my drink, and I was leaping off the wardrobe. <laughs> you had a couple on the plane, you did feel good. Bad dream. <laughs> yeah, bad dream that was. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Ready for this, Mum? Nice little easy coaster for you. Nice and smooth, this one. You like that little bit where it jumps up the track, don't you? You loved it last time, the bit where it bobs up and down. Your belly goes. The one where it goes, woo. That's, that's the best bit, that bit. Love that little uh, Easter egg in there on the sign over there. $19.95. If anyone knows what that is on the $19.95. The uh, code on the top as well, 1122. Yeah. Well, if anyone knows, let me know. Price tag. If you know, you know in the comments. Well, here we go, Stinky Dog Dash, we're off. We're off. You ready, Mum and Dad, there? Here we go. Here we go. Well, cracking little ride that on Toy Story. It's a good one. I wish it was longer. Brilliant. Yeah. One of my favourites. Yeah, Mum, you were uh, a little bit more it? scared than I thought you were going to be there. It's a little baby ride. Right? They were enjoyable squeals. <laughs> so we're going to go for a nice soft serve ice cream. What's it called, Laura, where we're going? We're going to the dinosaur. The dinosaur. Oh, no. Is that what it's called? No. It's Gertie, called... I think it's called. Gertie, Gertie, is it? The dinosaur one there by the lake. And then before we head out, I think we've done considerably well, considering we were just popping in. Uh, before we head out, we are going to uh, get on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway, which me, none of us have ever done. No, no. None I'm of us. And I think Mum is going to particularly enjoy this one, I think. Yeah. I think this is right up your alley. Oh. Yeah. So enjoy an ice cream. And it's Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. Then we'll wander on out. I might need to pick up some of those crocs for Catherine on the way out. My sister... Uh, Wants a pair of Crocs, so I might grab them. That's the number one rule with Disney. If you see something you want or you like, get them because you could come tomorrow and they're all gone. So I might pop in and get them on the way out as well. Well, our ice cream shop is closed. It closed at five, but we've changed the plans. We're going to go on Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Where Are We Now. Then we're going to head out and we're going to go to Disney Springs for some tea. And we're going to get a Chiardelli. Very fancy, not cheap, but it'll be a treat. 
Uh, we're going to get a Chiardelli Sunday for dessert in Disney Springs, and I'm going to buy a new pair of shoes because I'm having to walk with the. Uh, I'm having to walk with my heel crushing the back of the shoe because my foot can't take it anymore crushed like that. I didn't bring any other. I brought fancy shoes, but I didn't bring a second pair of trainers. I didn't need, don't normally need them. But yeah, JD have really messed me up here. So I'm going to have to just crush the back of the shoe to give me foot a bit of relief and buy a new pair of shoes tonight. So there you go. Make sure you check the shoe size that you buy. Ah oh well, I'm in Disney, I can't complain. I can't complain. You gonna take a ride on the train? Excuse me, you later. Who, me? Do you mind helping these good people into the cartoon while I fix this here locomotive? I guess so, but it sounds like a lot of paperwork. Thanks, be back in a jiffy to pick you all up. <laughs>
Why? It would speak in whistling. Why, Bitmakers? Told you nothing was gonna go wrong. <laughs> What do you think? What's your verdict? Fun, yeah, it's really well thought out. Yeah, you enjoyed that? You... Really, really good. Yeah. Well thought out. Yeah. yeah. What was your favourite little room in it? Oh, the old dancing room. And I thought yeah. it would be, yeah, where she's doing the dancing. You said good to keep like Mickey and Minnie going Mickey and Minnie the characters and all, and all that. Yeah, yeah. Never to be forgotten. No. So we're going to sort of mosey on out now. We've got to catch the Skyliner back to the car as well. Then we're going to be hitting Disney Springs. I've got to pick up those Crocs on the way, I think. Size UK 7. Is that right? Yeah. Catherine's text me, yeah. Did she go for? The blue ones, I'll right. show them on the vlog in a minute. Okay. Which ones Catherine's gone for? Over there. Yep, straight down. Here we go, Laura's getting her top. Oh, yeah. That's that we nice. spotted earlier. They're just checking to see if there's a women's 7 in the Crocs. If not, we're not. We're going to sort of keep looking. Yeah. That's a nice top, that, Laura. Do you like that? Comfy material as well. You're lucky you fit the kids' sizes cheaper. <laughs> it is 25. Yeah, nice. And if you do like Laura's, by the way, link is in the description. That's in our merch store. Laura's t shirt that she's wearing today with the Mickey bars on. Very comfortable, breezy, yeah. Yeah, nice and free, it's free flowing that one. Fantastic little few hours in uh, Hollywood Studios there. Yeah. Really not as busy as we thought. Uh, no crocs, unfortunately. We're going to try in Disney Springs as we go in a minute. Normally we'd go back and shower off and everything in the villa, but we're going to just stay out today. We're just going to go straight to Disney Springs, bite to eat. By the time you have a shower, come out again, you're going to be sweating cobs anyway, so... Oh, you're not, you only got to cool down while you're in the shower, the minute you step out again. Yeah. So we're going to catch you guys at uh, when we get to Disney Springs. We're going to get through, get the gondola, get the car, and we'll uh, catch you at Disney Springs. So, welcome to Disney Springs. Uh, I must say, we've just gone through security there. It's still the same as our last visit. They need to do something proper there with that security check, in my opinion. It's very... It just feels too temporary, and it's not, you know... It should be a, it should be a better welcome to Disney Springs than that, but by the by, it's nice and empty. It's uh, Blaze Pizza and definitely a new pair of shoes for me from anywhere. I've just said... You can stick any pair of shoes on me now that fit and they feel like the comfiest things in the world. JD Sports, you've uh, made my first day in Florida extremely uncomfortable, so thank you very much for that. Yeah, any shoes. I know there's definitely an Under Armour. Any shoe that fits will be heaven right now. My right foot is just like throbbing. But I didn't really notice yesterday with rushing to the airport, so I put it on and I thought, oh, maybe the laces are a bit, you know, tighter on this shoe sometimes it might need to loosen up a bit i thought maybe the left shoe had been tried on a few times so it was a bit looser no oh boy my right foot is like throbbing right now but it's pizza first pizza, I'm excited. <laughs> a new pair of shoes my, my right foot won't even move anymore not looking there uh, too bad in here right now we're gonna go down to the uh, we're gonna go straight on to uh, just trying to work out where we're going for our Blaze Pizza. Mum and Dad flagging, they are a little bit tired, they're struggling a bit. You're looking a bit, you're looking a bit worse for wear there. I just think I need something to eat. Yeah, we're going straight for something to eat now, yeah. Energy levels flagging. We've done a lot in 24 hours. Give them, let them know in the comments. 64, would you have done this much at this point? So do let me know in the comments, guys. We've done a lot done a lot but we're gonna sit and have a chilled pizza now then you're gonna go to house of blues for a little drink yes. i'm gonna buy a new pair of shoes so it, it's all chilled from this a point big drink. <laughs> might let you have two bud lights if your wallet can afford it yeah. <laughs> blaze here looking a little bit busy i do love the springs I do really like them the nice ducks going along they were probably duckling they were probably the ducklings we saw last time now we're uh, fully grown ducks if you watch them vlogs but blaze pizza time let's see if we can get in it's uh, busy 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 i'm sure we'll get a table so blaze is all about the pizzas if you've not seen this one before you do get to basically build your own pizza you can do different sides you can do signature pizzas build your own 
and then you just pay for the toppings. You've got gluten-free bases, high-rise uh, dough, original, uh, you've got cauliflower crust and you've got keto crust as well. And then you can get extra. The cheesy bread is nice on the side. But yeah, you can just have whatever you want on it. You can add a load of sides. You can have it quite plain, whatever you fancy. And then it all gets cooked in the uh, flame ovens over there and comes out the other side. Please, Laura's got a gluten-free pepperoni there, yeah. looking good. Mum, you've got onion, cheese. pineapple, cheese. Pineapple. Yeah. Very thin, like you like it. Yeah. Dad's gone for basically a focaccia, so that is all cheese and garlic on there. Lovely. Just what you wanted, Dad. Exactly. So yeah, we did do a vote on Instagram as to where to eat tonight. If you're not following us on Instagram, make sure you do, because uh, everyone voted for Blaze tonight for our dinner option, yeah. so that's what we've gone for going to enjoy. We've got a nice view of the balloon there. I'm going to dig in. We're all very hungry. Well our Blaze was absolutely lovely. They really did change my mind on Blaze. I wasn't a mega fan at first but it really does hit the spot and it worked out about $15 each. Not bad at all. I've got to say we've met some really lovely subscribers today. I couldn't remember anyone's names but we've met probably about six different groups families couples we just met two lovely people two different lovely sets of people outside blaze there uh, you've got their pictures as well so if you are out here you are very welcome to come and say hello it's great to meet you all put names to faces and uh, thank you for coming and saying hello guys if, if anyone's watching uh, it was lovely to meet you all and uh, we're just checking out on the sign if there's any other sports shop where i might get trainers other than under armor i prefer to get nikes because i know my nikes are normally Normally, if you get the right size, spot on. If not, it's gonna have to be a pair of Under Armors. I could not wear these again tomorrow. I'd love to try and save it and get to uh, the outlets and get a cheaper pair, but I ain't gonna. The outlets don't open until 11 and I'm not wasting the morning hobbling around. I'm literally hobbling now. So it's, uh, it's become a priority. Any luck, Laura? No. Looks like a pair of Under Armors. Under Armors are good. They're good. Um, I just, all my shoes are under armor. I know what I'm getting with me Nikes. Do you know what I mean? But Under Armour's all there. Uh, anything, anything's better than these. Anything is better than having a right shoe that is a size too small. <laughs> if I wasn't in Florida on day one, I'd probably be a more annoyed. But I've sort of just powered through it because I've been having so much fun today. Well, here's the wall of Under Armour shoes. None of them are particularly like, oh, I really like them. But I've asked the man which are the comfiest and he's gone to get me two pairs of US 12s, UK 11s. Yeah, not US 9, not a little, you know, UK nine and a half. And uh, we're gonna try them on, see which are comfy. Comfort is the main priority right now. Because my, my feet are, if they could cry, they would be crying right now. Okay, so Aaron here in Under Armour really was very helpful. And he's helped me pick these out. These are super comfortable. They wouldn't be my first choice of colour, but they are very nice. And they're normally for sort of trek running. But they are super, super comfy. He said on his long shift standing around at Horror Nights as well. He said, I wear those. He was like, I wore those for Horror Nights the other night. So I'm like, yeah, I'll go for them. They do feel like heaven on my feet right now. $150. Ouch. But uh, I will, trust me, I will be getting my money back from um, JD Sports. Put it that way. Well, there we go. $170 later. I've got a new pair of shoes and a couple of nice new pairs of socks. And my uh, feet are certainly thanking me right now. So uh, oh, I feel so much better. It's a real relief. You won't miss me if you see me around. I'm in the I'm in the neon neon orange uh, Under Armour, so you can't miss me. But I do feel like I'm floating on air now. So it's a uh, job done. I wouldn't have even made it around the outlets no. to even buy a pair no. tomorrow. No. My feet were screwed. So I'll have a quick look in World of Disney. Then we'll go and meet Mum and Dad in uh, Blues, I think. I hope you have enjoyed day one so far. If you have, please do give it a thumbs up. Do drop your comments as well. It's been a long, long day. But 
fact, plenty of vlogs still on the way, so uh, please do uh, give a thumbs up. Welcome to World of Disney. Your favorite, <laughs> Your favorite little shop. We'll see if they've got Catherine's Crocs, is what I'm gonna look for first. All the Halloween merch is in. Love the big pumpkin. Or as I up the new Haunted Mansion merch. You liking this bag here? Gorgeous. It's very different, isn't it? It's not a it's sort of design. Did normally get. It's still very different, though, isn't it? Yeah. Different sort of uh, way of doing it. You've got the embroidered sort of imprinted jacket on it. It's quite busy in here tonight. I quite like this 50th mug. Quite like that. A little bit different quite shiny just trying to find where the crocs are but everything's so different sections all over the place tricky to find i do quite like that jumper that pulls tied at the bottom something different yeah i think it's about the busiest place we've seen all day even in hollywood studios this is definitely <laughs> the busiest so far Okay. Crocs located. We're now going to look for a women's UK seven. So here you have it tells you men's nine, women's ten. So we need a, a women's seven we're looking for. Well, Laura's found them. Well done, Laura. Well done. So these, my sister is a vet nurse, so she has to wear Crocs for work, but she's sick of wearing the the same boring ones so that's the, the ones she picked out out of all the options we sent so we'll have another quick mooch as we check out it's gonna be a long line but they have got quite a few different crocs compared to when we were here in may there wasn't that much choice yeah there's even more here different ones plenty going on and even just standard black ones quickly passing Oakley as you know my favorite sunglasses the prism polarized uh, they're $30 off at the moment so we'll have a quick look at how much they are just to, to reference they are my favorite sunglasses you'll see them wearing you see me wearing them all the time uh, I basically have very similar to these uh, mine are the, the combo which have the metal uh, le metal arms and the uh, frames so these would be $30 off, so they would be $130, which isn't too bad at all. These are my exact sunglasses here. Blue frames, uh, metal arms, and these are 250 They are my exact ones there. You pay a little bit more once they've got the metal Holbrook um, added to them. These are the Holbrook Mix. You can get the full Holbrooks. I used to have these, these exact ones again, which are full Holbrook, they're all metal. And these are even more expensive. These are 260 for those ones. But yeah, they are them right there. Just catching up with mom and dad who are here in the House of Blues. They absolutely love it in here. Sit and have a drink, they watch the live bands. They always love it in here. It's just sitting, chilling out, look, they love it. And they just sit and have a drink, listen to the live music. They love it down here. Oh, prices, how much are we talking in here? House of Blues, what are we looking at? Uh, the Hennessy's. Yeah. Cheeky double. Okay, double Hennessy's. 
Bud Light, small can. Bacardi Diet Coke, double. How much? It was 38. 38, that's not too bad. With two doubles and a Bud Light, it's not too bad. It was $9.50 for a can of Bud Light in Horror Nights. Well, I think... That's not too... Let me know in the comments, guys. That's not bad. That's about 35 quid. You'd pay that in England, easy. Just felt expensive. <laughs> well... Yeah. I don't think that's too bad. Well, okay, okay. If you're all happy with that, then I'll just keep on paying. <laughs> should I stay or should I go? Should I stay or should I go? <laughs> <laughs> See? Good, aren't I? <laughs> Very good, mate. So that concludes day one. We are now back home, all done. What a day, it's been very, very busy. But uh, tomorrow should be a little bit more relaxed. We're gonna jump up and we're gonna go straight to Animal Kingdom, which opens at 8 a.m. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Hopefully gonna get Flight of Passage done and Everest as well, maybe Dinosaur. Then we'll come back here by about 12 o'clock, chill for a few hours, escape the midday heat, relax. I'll do some editing, go in the pool chill out, have a nap, and then we'll go back out again later in the day. So that's the plan for tomorrow, so do tune in for that one. If you've enjoyed this one, please do give it a thumbs up. It really does help out the channel. Drop your comments below as well. And uh, thank you all very, very much for watching. Make sure you do subscribe. There's plenty more videos to come. We're here for three weeks. And uh, that's gonna be it from us. I am definitely off to bed. My right foot is still throbbing, but much relieved by my new orange neon Under Armour's. If you haven't seen me in Florida, you will definitely see me now. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, stride on.